dear friends, to one more episode of ESL with Mode Americanoid, where we use English and the Bible for information and transformation. It's for your head and also for your heart. In today's lesson, we are going to be talking about presentation. One of my dear students, uh, Rosanna Monteiro, she is the partner director at a very important public relations agency here in Brazil. And she was going uh, to explain to me what uh, are the steps for a quality presentation. She has had to train uh, executives for major corporations and major events on making and giving presentations. So I'm going to uh, present to you the steps that she gave. The first, and I think it's going to be useful to us all. First step, step identify audience identify the people that you're going to be talking to. Who are they? Are they young? Are they old? Are they wealthy? Are they poor? Are they executives? Are they students? So you are going to be able to model your presentation based on who you're talking to. Otherwise, you bring up information that is irrelevant to those people. The second step is prepare. Prepare. It's very important. Do your research. Do your fresh, uh, prepare fresh ingredients, fresh ideas. Number three, rehearse. It's very important for you to rehearse. Number four, humor. Use a little bit of uh, an anecdote that is not a joke, a story, something that happened to you that might be funny or entertaining related to what you're going to be talking about. Because not everyone is good at telling jokes, but you are always able, even if you're a very serious person, to tell um, uh, something funny or even a little bit awkward or embarrassing that happened to you that will break the ice. Be objective. That's number five. Don't uh, stay beating around the bush. And number six, give time for feedback for questions and answers, Q&A. And remember, it doesn't matter if you are good looking like me or if you look like this. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's gonna be your, the way that you present yourself. And by the way, you have the word, the, the stress in the pronunciation different. Present as a gift or I'm present. To present, present as a verb. Do you notice the difference in stress? Repeat. Present, this is a present. I present you myself. Very good. That's it. And does the Bible say anything about presenting yourself? Yes, it does. It's found in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. I'm going to be reading from the New International Version. It says the following. Paul wrote this letter. He said, Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. Do your best. God will do the rest. See you around. Bye.